Thank you. Thanks. Vernad's go go fifty nine. Hurry up, please. Lady, wait. Shit. Well, this is what you dreamed of. I didn't work out again. Nick, you don't have to torture yourself. The doctor said there's no chance that you can't push your body any further. It's the eighth IVF. Nick, honey, let's stop this torture. You'll ruin your health. Look at you. You're exhausted. You don't look important. You mean I don't look good? But you, Pasha, is so pretty. Well, I have an important meeting today. Do you think that I should cry with you? What's the use? We agreed. You promised. Hey, what's up? Who are we mourning? Guess three times. Mom's IVF failed again. Look, we've already discussed this many times. Now I'm the only one who needs it. Well, I don't need it. You certainly do. The unspent maternal instinct has to be used somewhere, not on me. Okay. I also wanted a child. I wanted a son. It was very hard for me to get over that loss, too, but you can't be so fixated. I'm sick of living on your ovulation schedule. Pasha, I'm 42 years old. I just don't have time anymore. Well, devote it to yourself, to your daughter, to me at the end of the day. Please, I beg you, let's try again. The doctor said that in two months you can use the donor material, Pasha. No, I'm not doing this anymore. Katya is really right. You're a little crazy. Why are you talking about the donor? Oh, my God. Well, look for that material if you want. Hello, bunny. Sorry, I couldn't answer. Family drama, yeah. Of course, we're going out, yeah, as agreed. Bye. Mama. 
Yeah, Nika. Hi. No, you're not distracting me. I'm at the restaurant right now. I want to drink coffee. Nina, there's some water spilled at table 5. Please clean it up. Yes, yes, I'm here. How are you? I had a fight with your brother. He said he doesn't want to be a sperm donor anymore. Listen, that's funny. I'm sorry, Pasha is a sperm donor? Is he an inseminating bull? <laughs> Laura, it's not funny. Do I really look that bad? Well, you look tired lately. You need to relax. You could get a massage, go to the pool, swim. You like that. Nina, I'll fire you and I won't look at your special favors. I'm sorry, I'm here. Swimming. You say, maybe we should really go to the pool. I have a gift certificate somewhere. Oh, here it is. Didn't you give it to me? Where did I get it from? Well, that's great. Go for a swim. The water will wash it all away. Bye, bye. Pavel Sargavik. These unpleasant people have arrived again. They are coming up. I got a call from the guard. Olga Mikhailovna. Tell them I'm not there and tell them you don't know when I'll be there. I give you some Carvalho. Go, Olga Mikhailovna. And tell Sergei to come out, he knows where to go. Pasha, you saw him, they're here again. Yes, Olga took them to the conference room. You swore to me last time that you'd solve everything. A year has not passed and they've nailed me again. What's the matter? Veronica told you back then not to get involved with them, and what did you do? If I lived by her rules, I'd be selling underwear at the market right now. So I'm leaving, and you do what you want. How? What? What? I don't know, nail them down, postpone the payment, re-credit, you owe me money, so come on. Yes, yes, I couldn't call you, I can't meet you today, I've got things to do. No, which women? What are you talking about? We'll go to the country tomorrow, it's okay. You know, Tema, I'm sick of this talk. It's been six years and she still can't get over it. I feel like a second-rate kid. What about your father? He used to dream about his son, too, like playing soccer, going on business trips, fishing trips, but now he's got over it. Isn't it a bit late for them? No. Nowadays, old women in their 50s are having babies. Late babies are the trend. Late kids are either geniuses or dumb, more often dumb but they get everything. Hello. Hello. I called you today. Veronica Dmitrievna, right. Yes, Seiko. Your certificate, please. Thank you. Do you have a doctor's certificate? No. So, look, we have a doctor on the second floor, third room. The right, right here. Do I need to take this? Yes, take it, take it. Thank you. Have a good day.
You're a good swimmer, sports background. Yes, I used to. It would be more comfortable with goggles. Why don't you take mine? Igor? Yes, me. I recognized you, Berezova, by your gait and the way you touched the water with your feet before ducking. So I haven't aged that well. Aged? I can't take my eyes off you, hey. Why don't we have coffee? They make great coffee here at the cafe. I wanted to go for a swim. I'm a fool, sorry. Sure, go swimming. I'll meet you at the cafe in an hour, okay? Okay. Good luck. Even chlorinated water can't spoil your beauty. I'm 42 years old and I just saw my reflection in the mirror. You know that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Oh, listen, do you have any paper? Look for it, please. Here. Tear out some sheets. Burn it all. I don't care. They're notes. Topic. I'm not taking them to Poland. Are you studying for your exams? My father pays for everything. What exams? Go ahead. So they'll take you without exams, right? Dad said it's all set. I just need to learn Polish. So you're definitely going? Yeah, you don't. I have one something case. Now I understand why you chose Pavel. He's a good guy, knows what he wants. But I was torn by passions then. Tell me, did you have any regrets? Remembered about me? Let's not rake up the past. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's talk about now. I'm single. No kids. I have some business. I like to travel. I have a 17-year-old daughter, Kadia. Pasha is engaged in pumping equipment. I worked with him for many years, did the accounting, but the last few years no longer. Why not? You've never been a homebody. <laughs> I'm not a homebody, you know. Family life. Then my daughter has a difficult puberty, then Pasha and I... Nika. I'm sorry. What happened? Come on, let's go for a walk, come on. Sorry. Nika, tell me. Maybe I can help you. Well, if I can't, at least I'll listen. You know how sometimes it's good to tell a random hitchhiker everything. You're not random. I'm better, so come on, Rizik, share your pain with an old friend. You see, I even remember that you used to be a cheerful Rizuk, and where did it all go? I haven't been called that in a thousand years. I don't even know where to begin. I lost a baby a few years ago. I had a perfect pregnancy, perfect labor, perfect baby. And a month later he died. SDFR. What's that? Sudden death from respiratory arrest against a background of full health. The autopsy does not allow to establish the cause. Oh, God, forgive me. 
I'm always thinking what he would be now. What fairy tales would love to listen to. What cartoons to watch that is not at all crazy I decided that I must definitely still give birth. A year of psychotherapy, scheduled sex, endless examinations, treatments for unknown things, nothing. So the eighth IVF. Pasha no longer wants anything not the child or me. A while ago he imagined how he would play soccer with his son, where he would send him to study. And now he wants nothing. You know, Rizik, men have different instincts and will never understand your feminine experiences. I'm sorry that I've spilled everything to you. We haven't seen each other for 20 years. And then the former redhead threw a tantrum. There's no such thing as ex Rizuk. So you don't need to apologize. Do you have a car? Give me the keys, I'll take you home, and I'll take a cab back. No objections, let's do it. Thank you. Tell me what shirt to wear. I have an important meeting today. Did you iron my lucky blue one? I forgot. I didn't. What is this nonsense? You know how much I need it. And you're just lying there like a weirdo. Where's the coffee? Where's breakfast? Put this one on. Your belly doesn't stick out so much. And I'll make you some coffee. I don't get it. Do you think I'm fat? Didn't you notice that you've already run out of holes on your belt, Pasha? Admit to yourself that you're not Apollo. Why are you saying that? Are you trying to get in a fight? I didn't mean to offend you. I'm just worried about you. Extra weight at your age is no joke. At my age? Uh -huh. We're the same age. Well, my parameters haven't changed since my 20s. I don't understand what's going on with you. What's with the attitude? Where's my coffee? Don't worry. Here's your coffee. Here's your favorite breakfast. You look beautiful. What are they writing? Why all of a sudden, you've never been interested? No, you're very strange. I haven't slept well. Won't you be late for work? Watch the time. Thank you. It was delicious. Yeah, Nika, hi. Hi, Laura. Didn't wake you up. What are you talking about? I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning. The butcher got me a good price. And you know I don't like to be late, but I'm on my way to the restaurant. How about you? Let's meet for coffee today. And then you can go to work and I'll go to the store for groceries. What's wrong? Nothing. Maybe it is. Well, you're intriguing. So tell me, what's going on? I met Igor. Remember they started a business together with Pasha a thousand years ago? Of course I remember. What about him? He's handsome. 
Even though he's the same age as Pasha, Lara, he's a great swimmer. Yeah, well, you fatten Pasha yourself. Listen, is the Sigur married? Give you the details when we meet. Okay. We will meet in our place, okay? Yeah. Bye. Which handsome Igor is that? And why does St. Larissa know and I don't? Because we were friends with him before you were born. Ah, uh -huh, before I was born. It's not like it's any of my business. Katya, don't start. Ma, I think you started it. Where's my daddy? Did you send him to get his sperm tested again? Good morning to you too, daughter. Yeah. He was handsome when he was young, and you turned him down. And I remember he lost his mind from grief. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? Oh my God. I completely forgot. Well, give me a tour of the territory. Show me the halls. I don't know. I am on my way. Oh, I forgot. The clients came to see the territory for the wedding. So Pasha didn't tell you? It's very strange. Igor even gave his share to Pasha and disappeared. What's the difference? It's been 20 years. Nika, what's going on? You were in a great mood when you called me. And now you're in a minor mood. We had a fight. Listen, influence somehow on your goddaughter. It is impossible not to communicate, not to talk to her. She is always rude and rude. Okay, I'll talk to her and Nikusha. I'm sorry, but I have to run. Yes, go. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. I need 300 bucks. The Poles pay me 6,000 for three months. I'll give it to you as soon as I get it. Is it real, Tema? Aren't you going to get screwed there? No, it's just contracts, signatures. Well, if everything is clear, they could write off this 300 bucks from the first paycheck. That's for the invitation, for the documents. We need it now, will you help me? I really need it, I don't have it. Well, where am I going to get it? I don't have it either. Kitten, please. Yeah, mom, I hear you. Yeah, shiver and flower, I got it. Okay, I'll be right there. Yes, wait. Rizik? Hi. Igor? That's him. Don't be surprised. We met for a reason. I thought it was a little early to ask you out. But a chance meeting at a shopping spree would be perfect. What kind of date? I'll help. Are you following me? Yeah. I've been following you all the way home. You didn't notice I'm following you. I'm joking. I'm joking. Maybe tea, coffee, something to drink. Sorry, I have to go to my mom's house. She's having a tea party. I have to get her groceries. Lily Alexandrovna is as socially active as ever. I admire her, give her my regards. I will. Would you mind if I called you sometime? Yeah, sure. It's a deal, that's it. The road open. Surveillance is off, please. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Why would he call? Nika, tell me what happened next. Found the certificate. I went there. Larissa said the water will wash it all away. Do you know who I met there? No. Who? Igor, remember? Of course I remember. He's a good boy, and he was in love with you. He couldn't take his eyes off you. Just an ordinary childhood crush. What were we, 20? You could collect a bundle of love like that every day for five kopecks. And could you? You had one and you didn't notice it. Because I chose Pasha. Of course you did. 
but not with your heart, but with your mind. And you see right through me. Of course I do, listen. Nika, tell me, what's going on with you and Pasha? You didn't go to that pool to wash something off for nothing, did you? Come on. Sifted. I need half a kilo. He said he's tired of living on my ovulation schedule. And if I need it, I can find another donor. Well, even so. Mom, am I really crazy? You are. But no matter what we think, you found the strength to move on, thanks to this lifeline. So hold on to it for as long as you need it. Is Pavel still adamantly against adoption? Just as adamant. Well, is there still a chance to have a baby? Aha. Uh -huh. So go for it, go ahead. How should I pressure him? Well, I don't know which choice you're gonna chose. Jesus, Mom, I hate it when you talk in riddles like that. Which choice? The only choice I have is the ninth IVF. The doctor said I can get pregnant on my own. Well, after so many procedures of all this hormonal therapy, the female organism seems to be ready. And the male? She also talked about donor material. Does she advise you to get another partner with a more capable reproductive capacity? Mom, you're unbearable. I really am. I'm sorry. I gotta run. You need another 150 grams hereby. It's okay. You're a big girl. You'll figure it out on your own. I'll always be here for you. I'll decide, so you don't doubt it, Pashinka. Rizik, have you missed me yet? How did you get my number? If I tracked you down at the supermarket, don't you think I can get your number? You're joking again. Igor, are you stalking me? Imagine you meet me by chance, we come in for a cup of coffee and I burst into tears. And you wouldn't worry about me. Yes, you're right, I would. Thank you, I'm just embarrassed. Never mind, I'm just happy to see you again. Igor, I'm pulling up to the house, I need to park, it's awkward to talk. That's it. I'll see you tonight at 6 on the next lane at the pool. Bye. Hey, when are you coming over? I'm thinking about what to make for dinner. Nika, terribly busy. Well, I told you I have a big event tonight, I'm meeting my partners, then a business dinner out of town. Well, I'm not gonna be here tonight. You decide about the cooking. I'll call you tomorrow. Come on, sweetie, bye. Bye. Cardio. Will you have lunch? I don't see us having lunch. Well, not yet. I can make something quick. Are you hungry at all? That's a strange thing to ask. You didn't care about no breakfast this morning. You don't usually eat breakfast. Why should I care? Is it just me or are you trying to pick a fight? Oh, mom, just admit it. You just forgot about me. What a nonsense. You're 17 and you can cook for yourself. You're feeding dad. That's completely different. Yes, it's different. You'd feed Vitalik, too. Get over yourself. You know, Mom, I don't need to make a quick lunch. I'll find somewhere to eat. Thank you.
What will they paying you that kind of money for? I'll pick apples, plant saplings, something like that. Farm work, cool. I'll come visit you this weekend, listen. Have you found the money? Katya, I'll give it to you honestly. Where will I get it? I'll have to ask my parents. Listen, maybe your parents will help? Dad probably has some right. He does, but not for me. He didn't even give my mom the money she needed for her surgery, so we've been scraping by as a family. Maybe we should sell the scooter. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, I'll think of something. Swimming is the best antidepressant. I experienced it myself when I worked as a trainer. Now I tell all my friends, between the bottle and the therapist, choose the pool. You were a trainer. I was. A lot of time has passed since then. I haven't been in a pool in a thousand years. It's strange, of course, that we found ourselves in the same pool on neighboring lanes at the same time. It's not a coincidence. Did you set it up? How could I fake it? I've been thinking a lot about you, about me and you, about how things could have turned out if I hadn't given up. But thoughts are material. So consider that I pulled you into the water by force of thought. I can't believe you're in no hurry today. Yeah, I think we're gonna be talking till morning today. The partner is very talkative. Here you go. Oh, thank you. What a view. You can look at it forever. It's yours. <laughs> but you'll stop noticing it in a month, in another half a year. You'll start to get pissed off by airplanes flying back and forth, yeah? And you'll be hiding behind closed windows. That's your plan, to keep me here for six months. Are you a maniac? That's a great idea, by the way, but that's not the plan. I have to marry you after everything we've been through. Don't worry. I'm releasing you from that obligation. No, no. I don't want to. It's got to be a lifetime. What do you do? Hey, Grandma, yes. How are you? I'm fine, yeah, yeah. Listen, I wanted to talk to you. I spilled tea on my new laptop. My parents will kill me if they find out. I need $300 for repair. Yeah, that's what the repairman said. 
What's the point of your neighbor showing it to if the reprimands already looked at it? Would it cost less? I'll think about it. Thanks. Bye. I'm so sick of you and Vitalik. I didn't know you were coming to see me. I thought it was just another alibi for Pavel. And he's not surprised that you've been visiting me so often. I don't think he cares at all. Where I am, who I'm with. How long will this game last? Or has Igor's fertility failed so far? Mom, a month is not a long time. God. Okay, what will you do with Igor if everything happens the way you want it to? Will you tell him he's free to go? The more has done his job, the more can leave. What about Pavel? Do you think he'll believe in this miracle? Are you even sleeping with him? Mom. Or are you gonna make him believe in the Immaculate Conception? Igor wants me to leave Pasha for him. Igor does. What do you want? I want to change my life so I have something to live for. You're in love. Mom. Tell me about it. Are you in love? Even if I did, I can't fall in love. So, naturally, you know, these things have to be dealt with quickly. Yes, I understand. Yes, it's all solvable. Yes? Hi, there's a mutual acquaintance of Pasha's and mine over there next to you. Sorry, we can't be seen together. I got it, I'm out. Yeah. Look, you and I are adults. I'm not running around hiding. I don't see any romance in it. I want to be with you. I want to fall asleep and wake up with you to plan the future to travel. And not to huddle in corners like schoolchildren. If you want the same thing, you have to make a decision. You realize it's difficult right now. I don't understand. If you want the same thing, if we want to have a normal family and children, what's so hard about it? You know there might not be children. Well, how can there be no children? We'll adopt. We'll take them from the orphanage and adopt them. Igor. Of course we'll adopt. Two expressos for Larissa Sergeyevna and her friend. For Larissa Sergeyevna? Aha. Uh -huh. She doesn't usually drink coffee in the afternoon. How observant. I don't know. This must be a serious conversation. 
Okay. Larissa, I realize this is unexpected news. That's an understatement. You know how things have been for us lately. Oh, so what? But to leave, and to go to Igor. I'm sorry. I know I took you by surprise. That's why I wanted to meet you and talk to you first. After all, you're my friend first, and then my husband's sister. Don't forget, I'm the one who introduced you, so I'm responsible for your marriage. You're not responsible for anything. There's no one to blame. We have long been estranged from each other and while we were working together it was not felt somehow, but now... Nika, a million people live like that. Few people manage to live like Siamese twins. It's not a tragedy. Have you thought about Katya? Where is Katya in this whole scheme of things? I thought... I thought... She's going to study in Poland. I hope she won't care who's here and with whom. You've already planned everything. Why do you need me? Why? What do you want? You want a blessing, support. What? Understanding, Larissa. Understanding. Nika. I understand if you found a younger man with a good chin pull. Larissa, well. Not this ghost of the past, honestly. I can't say that I'm happy for you, really. It's not a well-considered decision, although it's yours. But please, let's not tell Pasha yet. He's got a lot on his plate. I need to prepare myself, so don't say anything. No, no, I'm not talking and you don't say anything. Ah, uh, thanks. Okay. Bye, bye. Everything will be fine. We need to talk. No, it's an emergency. I'm on my way to you, come on. Oh, my God. What did you think you were gonna spend your whole life neglecting your family? Yeah, I've done everything for my family. And a personal life is a personal life. What are you talking about morality all of a sudden? Sister, you've been covering up my strains for so long. You've put so much noodles on Nika's ears that I had my eyes on my forehead. And now it turns out I'm a jerk. Who are you? You haven't missed a skirt. My girls at the hotel have lost count of how many women you've taken there. I'm surprised Nika's still with you. She's already with her ex. Where did he come from? We met by chance. What's the difference? There is a difference. Just let her go. Divide the business. Miziev will leave me. He won't get anything of mine. Never. What are we having for dinner? Where's Katya? Why are you looking at me like that? We're having chanterelles and sour cream and potatoes for dinner. Katya is at her grandmother's. I'm not looking at you, you just imagined it. It's good that Katya is not here. She'd eat all the chanterelles. I'm hungry like a wolf. Pasha, listen. Well, you talk, I'm listening. It's tasty. I realize this may not be the best moment, but I want to say it now without any foreplay. Pasha, I'm leaving you. I'm sorry. You're leaving? Aha. Uh -huh. So you thought it over? 
and it's a firm decision. Yes. I get it. Well, if you've made up your mind... Nika, don't go, it's just something went wrong. It's my fault. But I love you. I know you love me. We're used to each other. We've been together for 20 years. These are hard times, they just happen. They'll pass, I'll make them pass. Pasha. We've been strangers to each other for a long time. You're always at work, I'm at home, Kadi is grown up. We have nothing in common except everyday life and my ovulation schedule. It's called a marital crisis. But it'll pass, we can get through it together. I take it you're not leaving on your own. I met Igor. So it's Igor? An old rival is back on the scene. Do you love him? Pasha, it's not about love right now. I want to live my life to the fullest, Igor. And Igor can certainly provide that. Exactly. Look, you haven't heard or seen this man for 20 years. What he's been living, what he's like now. It doesn't matter. And if it wasn't Igor? Yeah, you're right. Igor or no Igor, it doesn't matter. But you know what the important thing is, is that you said that love is out of the question. Nika, we've been through so much with you over the years. We, we can handle it, you know. Nika, the two of us are the same. We just forgot about it. I forgot. I'm sorry, I'm just used to you always being there for me. You love me, I love you. Let's try one last time. No way. Let's go to foster parent school together. I found out we need it. We'll have a son. You see, sweetheart. Nika, you can trust me. So plastic tray, three. Okay, glasses, 28, 28. She remains. What did you tell her, Pavlik? Cretan, why didn't you let her go? Max, what took you so long? We had a visitor in the hall. We were calming him down with Valerka. Calmed him down? Well, not really. He's just very drunk. We once tried, and he shouts, I'm a visitor. That's how you are with me. 
You decided to resign me as soon as Pavlik waved his finger, but I trusted you, but you turned out to be a liar, looking only where it's profitable. Jesus, Igor, what profit are you talking about? Wait, wait, Pavel didn't give you money, attention, you were bored with life, and then Igor came along faithfully in love, just in time. I'm sorry, Igor, we... We, you said you wanted to be with me, I was willing to give you anything, and now there's no us, we're gone. Pasha and I have been together for 20 years. What are we going to do with those years? I'm sorry. I decided to give us a chance. I get it. Go away. Oh, my God, what am I doing? I met your Ninichka there. Somehow she looks at me very strangely. It's your imagination. I met Pasha here the other day. He's so handsome, so fit, you know, fresh as a cucumber. So sex instead of dinner, huh? Laura, please don't embarrass me. It's okay. Nina, you go, go clean up later. It's been wonderful for a month. I can't believe it. And I think he's forgiven me. Nina, what word of my request was unclear? Go, I'm telling you to clean it up later. That's it. That's it. Quiet, quiet. What kind of people are these people? So I didn't understand. What did he forgive? My cheating. We believe each other. It is certainly harder for him. He's not guilty of anything in front of me. Yeah, of course you're cheating. You trust each other, right? Yes. Okay, stop. We need to focus on the case. We met to discuss Pasha's birthday. Laura, we've already discussed the menu, the music, the guests, even the outfits. You left a list under the wrappers. I'm in control. I have to go. I called a cab. Wait, why a cab? Where's Pasha? He's having some dinner with his partners. He said it's gonna be late. Oh my god, dinner with the partners. Of course. What are you whispering? Nothing. I said, I think the cab's here to pick you up. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Hey, Pashinka. What are you doing? She believes you. And you? I'm here to discipline Inka. And you're having dinner with your partners. You'll figure it out yourself. Then figure it out. Asshole. <laughs> Friends, I'd like to make a toast to attention. Because Nika hasn't really said anything besides I love you. We're used to it, don't take offense. We don't love you for your eloquence. Thank you. Yes, I want to say about my brother. My dear brother, my little brother, my treasure. Since you appeared, you so burst into my life that just no one else in it did not fit and was not really needed. All my childhood I ran around with you. All my youth I protected you. I even married my best friend to you so that I wouldn't let her go far away. I baptized your little Katya. And I hope I'll still nurse your grandchildren. 
And you know, there is no secret that I would not know about you, and there is no problem that you would not help me to solve. Thank you. I'm so glad to have you, so be well and happy, to my brother. Thanks, old lady. I'm so glad to hear you love me. I don't know about the secrets, and I don't know why you're talking about grandkids. I'm ready to be a daddy in the near future. Pasha, why are you doing that in front of everyone? It's our family thing. Come on, calm down, as if someone doesn't know about our business with test tubes. Listen, when did you get so drunk, bro? Get a hold of yourself. Lara, you're breaking tradition. I'm surprised. I've been sniffing around the kitchen all night tonight. Oh, my God. How could I forget? And so I have prepared for you a traditional gastronomic surprise, and who will guess what will be served today for hot food for our birthday boy? Well, of course for you all, you will get the recipe as a gift, so let's go. I think it's veal with truffle sauce. No, it's not. Dad's favorite is duck and apple. The cake is bird's milk. They're not hot. What are you talking about? Maybe Lara can give you the recipe and you can feed me cake. Why don't you explain what that was? What do you want to talk about right now or right? I've been waiting for the right moment myself. Go ahead. I have a woman, we'll have a child, a son, I'm leaving you. Are you deaf? I'm leaving. Olga Mikhailovna will come for things. You there collect me for the first time. Mom, I'm leaving, Mom. I gotta go, Mom. My dad called me. Have a good day, Katya. Don't be late. Olga Mikhailovna, are you here already? All right, come on up. Olga Mikhailovna, hello, don't say anything. I don't say anything. I don't say anything. Thank you. No, I can't keep quiet, Veronika Dmitrievna. You're my dear. You can count on me for everything. God forbid you think I knew what I was covering up. Olga Mikhailovna, I don't think about it at all. What does it matter if you knew or not? Not to you, but to me it does, because you're family. You and Pasha, with Pavel, you are like family to me. 
And if I noticed something, I could warn you, and you could do something about it. Really? Do what? Olga Mikhailovna, put a fidelity belt on your husband or poison your mistress. Not you, but I should have noticed something. Now it doesn't make any sense. He has a son now. Are you in a cab? No, Pavel Sarshevik gave me a car. Victor is waiting for me. Goodbye. Hey, how long have you been waiting? Oh, sorry, my teacher wouldn't let me go. College is crazy. It's a madhouse at home. My mom is crying or silent. She didn't let grandmother in. She would have at least cooked soup, because there's nothing to eat at home. Let's go, what's up? Hasn't your father calmed down? Doesn't he ask to go back? Why would he want to go back? He's fine there, I guess. He has a new love, a new child, a new life. Have you seen his new love? Nah, I just know he's a fitness trainer. Name's Elena, I think. Well, that's what Aunt Larissa said. She doesn't know much about it either. Mom doesn't leave the bedroom at all. Well, your mom has her own story. She was dumped, but you're not. Nothing's gonna change for you, sweetheart. I will always be your father. I will always love you. More specific? He said he'd give me money for Poland, but only later. Some problems at work. There are problems at work. Then there will be a child. Problems with the child will start. Then a new girl will want new tits, new teeth, and problems will start with them. Then a new car, you know? Well, what can I do? Firstly, don't piss off your dad and don't take your mom's side. Secondly, try to make friends with his new girlfriend. And third, ask him for money for your studies in advance, please. Speaks Polish. You're so smart. Make sure you don't get screwed by Poland. I've got everything covered. I won't be friends with anyone. Hello? No. I can't today. I'm home. Let's do it this weekend. Yes. Okay. I'll call you. Okay. What are you looking for? I'm hungry. Why didn't you let Grandma in? She would have cooked something. Let's go without Grandma, or she'll come and start saving everyone. And I can't do that right now. Buy yourself something and cook. Mom, well, you know I don't have time. College, Polish now. There's a tutor. So your plans haven't changed. Did you talk to Dad? Yes, I did. Why shouldn't I? He promised to introduce me to his fiancée. Good. Come on, Mom. Mom? I'm sorry. I'm not going to meet her, honestly. Katya, let's have a separate relationship with Dad. Separate from me, please. Okay? Okay, I understand. I found a very good psychotherapist who specializes in post-divorce syndromes. Is there such a syndrome? 
Do you think you're the only one? Do you know how many women go through a crisis in similar situations? Women? How? What do men experience? A second youth, a new dawn. Nika, my darling, stop thinking about him, do you hear me? There is a fact, he will have a child, he needs a divorce, do you understand? And then I understand the division of property. And you're cruel. Why am I cruel to go on living? You have to cut off the sick. It's like an operation. You sound like a surgeon. I understand. I got a call from Andre, a lawyer. I'm meeting him tomorrow. Pasha's not answering my calls. Kadi is acting strange. Have you talked to Pasha? Pasha has dropped off the radar. He just texts me. I'm fine, you know. What am I supposed to do? Meet with a lawyer, sign papers, get a divorce. Live Nika. Hello. My name is Veronica Seiko, and Andre Katch called me. Good afternoon. Yes. Yes. He's expecting you. Yes. Hello, it's me who called you. Come in. Thank you. Good afternoon. Have a seat. Veronika Dmitrievna, Pavel Solzevic entrusted me to represent his interests in the divorce process. I'll tell you right away, you can also entrust a lawyer to support your divorce. And you think I can't do it myself? Usually clients prefer to minimize their involvement. Pavel Sargevic is apparently now very busy solving personal issues, and I can take part. So if I need the help of a lawyer, I will definitely apply for it, do not doubt. I'm sure you will. Andre, listen this divorce case. Let me get involved. No, Erisha, this is my client, don't. Okay, but if anything, you tell me. Client. I didn't just see a client. I saw a female client. She's pretty, but our Iron Man didn't even offer her coffee. You're my little girl, Martha. Oh, can you get some water for Martha? Yes, that's it. That's it. That's my good girl. Here you go. Here, drink some water, drink some water. She doesn't want any. So you say you met Pavel's lawyer. You should have seen him. Mom, iron dry. The arrows on his pants. You could cut yourself. And he acted like I'm the one filing for divorce and trying to claim everything from my husband. And Pasha's been working for me all his life, moved the business, but when he met his only selfless happiness, I'm trying to rip him off. What makes you think he should talk to you any differently? His client is Pavel, not you. You know, Mom, you could at least be supportive of me for a change. I wanted to sympathize with you, but you wouldn't let me. I'm sorry. I already told you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to let you wallow. A great grief. Your unloved has been left. How could you? Why? Yes, I can and stop lying to yourself. You needed a child. For this were in Pavel and Igor, but all already this topic is not relevant, so turn on your head. Listen to this, Andrew. Read the documents and act. If you have any questions, you ask right away. There are no small things in divorce proceedings. Therefore, there can be no uncertainty. Thank you. Andre, everything seems to be clear in the documents. Tell me how in general all this will be held. In your case, the division of property process is not fast. You all together with her husband created the company, but Pavel Sarjevic is in a hurry and wants to formalize the divorce faster. I do not quite agree with it, but I follow his wishes. 
Will there be a divorce in court? You have a minor daughter, so yes, divorce in court. The session is in a few days. The procedure will not take long. A couple of three formal questions from the judge and the matter is done. And if I refuse to divorce at all? I wouldn't advise it. The divorce will take place in any case. You will only complicate your life. My life is hardly simple now. How much longer? What do you even want to see in there? Look, get out of here. I want to stand here, and I will. All right, all right. Have you seen your father? No, my mom came by. Maybe I missed him. Did the husband come? Not yet. Andrei Georgievic, I can't postpone you any longer. The judge is already angry at his working day already ended half an hour ago. Let's set another time. Andrei, what's going on? Where's Pasha? He hasn't been in touch today. Okay, let me apologize to the judge. We'll reschedule the trial, then I will contact you soon. And for today, you are free. Can you explain what's going on, where he is? I'll call you soon, but goodbye for now. What do you mean, goodbye? Is he missing? Don't give me that nonsense about three days to file a missing person's report. I know Pasha. He didn't just disappear like that. Something happened. All right, I'll try to expedite the process. So, what's the news? Mom went out with some guy. Have you seen Dad? Nah, look. Maybe he changed his mind. Maybe he'll come back because it happens. Look, I don't know. Katya, come on. We've been standing here all day. Let's go. Come down closer to the river, maybe you'll find something else. You know that place is a whirlpool, he won't find anything there. Gas station said he was with a pregnant woman. They were fighting. Shit. Pregnant women are the only ones who haven't drowned themselves. She didn't go back to town. The gas station attendant saw her catching a ride. Will you recognize the car? Silver Jeep. Can you run it through the cameras? Sure. Go ahead. Leo, Leo, where the fuck are you? What is this? Why are the customers complaining again? The rice is overcooked or undercooked. You tell the trainee I'll put him on dishwasher duty, okay? Okay. Okay. Larissa. What? They found Pasha's car. Calm down. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go, calm. So you say where they found the car? And Pasha? And Pasha what? Found. Found only the car and clothes. Sit down. Exhale. Calm down. Let's go in order. Where did you find the car? In the cliff. Do you remember the cliff? We were forbidden to jump there when we were kids. That's where. It's all right. Pasha knows the bottom like the back of his hand. Jesus, Larissa, there's a whirlpool there. The body may not be found at all. Jesus, 
What the fuck is that? The body. I don't even want to hear about it. It's stupid. So calm. What are the police saying? What are their theories? Is it assault? Is it robbery? Kidnapping? What? They asked me if he had any suicide attempts. Well, that's silly. Pash is not capable of that. What do you know about his relationship with this one? Maybe they had a thing, they were together. She kind of left earlier and you know here and she says she doesn't know anything or she's hiding it. Jesus. Nika, sweetheart, honey, listen. No woman is capable of driving Pasha to suicide. Do you hear me? Oh, my God. Do you think he's... Is he alive? I don't think anything at all right now. You know, I can't think right now. And how's Katya? Katya doesn't know anything. She's at her mom's. I'll go to her, Lara. He wouldn't do that to me, would he? Nika, I'm sorry. I can't talk about it now. You go... Pasha. I don't understand how this could happen. I can't even believe it. I know this place. Accidents always happen there. And mom's as usual. I'm so confused. Are you crying because daddy didn't show up for the trial? That's kind of a good thing, no? Katusha. Katya, come here. What else? Katya. Mom and I have something to tell you. It's just that there's been an accident with your daddy. Is he alive? Is he alive? We don't know. They found the car by the river. There's a possibility that... Uh, Katusha, it's your fault. It's all your fault. Wait, Katya. Katya. Katya, wait, wait. I'm telling you. Well, Katya, no answer. I wrote to Artem. Well, give her time. It's all my fault. I ruined my family with my own hands. I'm just obsessed with the child. You may be obsessed, but you were honest with him, but he wasn't. That's the payback. Mom, come on. What payback? It's wild. It shouldn't have happened. He can swim perfectly well. He himself once saved a man at sea. It's not those who can't swim who drown, but those who can. Oh, my God. Payback for arrogance, both on the water and in relationships.
So you think Pasha died? You think he's gone to ground? I'm sorry. That's a figure of speech. Artem doesn't know where Katya is. Oh my God, what do we do? The search for Pavel Sozovich continues. Perhaps he has taken time out. It happens. So... We will be glad if he is found and we hope that Pavel Sarjevic is alive and well, but this is not relevant. Here are the debentures. The maturity date has expired. We want our money. Well, as far as I know, Pavel Sarjevich was going to close this issue, but now, due to his absence... He was going to close it, but he didn't. He disappeared, probably with the money. Well, according to the documents, Veronika Dmitrievna is listed. She hasn't disappeared. So let her repay the debt. Am I right, Andrisha? Yes, of course. I would ask you to wait until something clear with the disappearance of my client, especially Veronika Dmitrievna has long gone out of business. What's it to me? You can wait. We won't wait. It's got all the figures, percentages, days overdue and her signature. So if I were her, I'd hurry up. I don't understand how this happened. Is Pasha crazy? How did he get into these terms? How could he throw himself off a cliff? You think it's because of death? I don't know, but that amount of money... Have you told Veronica about the debt or does she know about it? He put her out of business two years ago. Katusha, nothing is known yet. We must hope that your father is all right. And where did he go? Did he run away? I don't know. I just hope. What should I hope for? He promised to give me money to study in Poland and to live in general. And now what? I don't get it. We're worried about him and you're worried about money. Yes. Nika. Lara, Katya is missing. I told her about Pasha and she's gone. I've got Katya. Okay, I'll be right there. No, no. I'll bring her myself. I'll meet you at your place. What? What is it? Don't you care whether he's alive or not? The main thing is the money. Does he care if I'm alive or not? And my mom doesn't care. I'm not Vitalik. I'm not dead to worry about me. Katya, what are you talking about? Nothing. I can take care of myself. So tell your girlfriend. Oh my God. Six years ago you lost your son, gave birth and lost him a month later. And now, Nika, you're in danger of losing the daughter you've loved for 17 years. And yet Katya is a miserable and lonely child. Talk to her. What am I supposed to talk to her about? She doesn't listen to me. She does everything to spite me. And you just tell her you love her just like that. And hug her, you know, like that. God, it's so important. What else does the child need? I understand Katya's departure is cancelled. What about the company, the business? Who's gonna run it all until Pasha gets back? I have to rejoin the company. Andrei says I'm kind of in Pasha's place for now. In Pasha's place? And legally, when is he supposed to be declared? What do you mean, missing? Andrei said a year. God, how much of this Andre? Andre said, Andre did, Andre. Who else am I supposed to talk to about this? He's the only one who knows everything. And you should know everything. And Katya should be in charge. Nikuja, you need to get through to her. She's your girl, your flower. My girl. 
Моя девочка. Угу. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. Kitten, you never know. Maybe he had a fight with his athlete girl, got drunk or lost to someone and ran off somewhere. Well, that's what happened to my cousin. My father doesn't get drunk or gamble. I don't know. I just assume. Everything happens in life. Listen, let's go somewhere to hang out. A. Eh? Let's not be too long, or they'll be looking for me with the dogs soon. Listen, I was thinking it would be nice if you found out about the inheritance, but it would be easier if your dad really died, you know, like in the movies, alive or not alive. Artem, this is my dad. I'm not arguing with you, although what inheritance? You're not 18 yet. Are you stupid or what? My father is missing, you know. Absolutely. You can forget about Poland now. That's not true. My father promised me. Kadia. Kejesh. Mom, what are you doing? Bad. No, no, there's no news yet. But I think it's good for us for now. Come on, I'll feed you. I'm not hungry. Katia. Mom, maybe you should have been less bothering Dad with the baby and everything else? We could have lived normally. You know, now I think I was wrong to insist. I just believed that the baby would unite us. When a small child appears in a family, people become closer to each other. You want to give your love to give it away. People start jumping around their children like. They are getting crazy with this love and everyone is sick of it. How can anyone be sick of love, Katia? Good. I love you. I'm sorry I wasn't attentive to you. I didn't mean to hurt you. Come here. Let's go eat. Grandma gave me her specialty cutlets. Come on. What took you so long? We won't be late. You can't be late for this place. They told me as if I had to pick up a parcel from the post office. Come for identification. What pills did you take today? I thought you'd be hysterical. My mom gave me something. She said it was for emergencies. And now it's moment here. I guess my mom's pills aren't enough. Let's go, come on, let's go. Come in. Come in. Are you ready? Yes. Is that Pavel Sarjevic Seiko? That's not him. That's not Pasha. Take a good look. Death changes a person a lot. Excuse me. I have to go out. It's not him.
Rough day, Larissa. I gotta go. Andre called and said he needed to meet urgently. Can I drop you off somewhere? A restaurant? No, give me a ride to my car. Vo, Max? Hi. How is it going over there, Calm? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine here. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, too. It's not Pasha. Vo, I knew I didn't have to go. I just know he's alive. I can feel it. Listen, Max, I've got some errands to run. So how long are you gonna be? Should I expect you tonight? I don't know, sweetie. I don't know. I miss you. Bye. Here's the contract for the purchase of pumping stations. This is the supplemental agreement. Do you see the sums? Here's another contract. Some astronomical figures? I don't understand. Pasha was always careful. This is the contract for Pavel Sozivik's loan. Wait, and the terms? Yes, the deadline has passed. I don't understand how this could happen. I'll deal with it later. Would you like some water? Okay, Andre, do I understand that in order for me to pay off my debts, I need to sell the company? Yes. And the apartment? Maybe, but the apartment can wait for now. Well, will you help me? Why are you looking at me like that? Did you think I'd get hysterical? Unfortunately, my nerves won't help. Can I count on you? Yes, of course. One more question. Can these creditors be connected to Pavel's disappearance? Well, as far as I know, the police aren't considering it. Is the family or I in danger? I don't have that information. Right. So anything's possible. We need to hurry, okay? So prepare the documents. I'm selling. She's got a good stamina. But if I were her, I'd take at least the Valerian when I heard the news. Women? Who can understand them? Olga Mikhailovna, hello. Larissa Pavel Sargevic. Let's not cause grief. Nothing is clear yet. Do you think that he can? Well, I'm not jumping to conclusions. Olga Mikhailovna, I have a couple of questions for you. I'm sorry. Of course, I'll tell you everything. Pavel Sargevic is like a son to me. Yes, Pavel once told me that he met with his old friend, his classmate. Olag, here, here, you know, he left me his card. Now, now, I have a complete order in my documents and contacts. Here you go. Olga Mikhailovna, you're the best. What about this Olag? You know, I didn't like him right away. Not your type. Goodbye. Olga Mikhailovna, I'm in a hurry.
Damn. Hello, Olag. This is Larissa, Pasha Seiko's sister. Yes, I agree. An unexpected call. How long has it been? Well, we've all been so busy. Listen. Olag, I have a strange question for you. Just don't tell anyone. Yeah, Pasha is in trouble. I'll explain everything later. You remember in the 10th grade you had a fight. And then Pasha disappeared for a week, yes. When the police were called, he was staying at your dacha, right? What's the address there? Thank you, yes, I got it. I'll tell you all about it later, bye. Mom, Katya, and I are moving in with you. I'm renting an apartment. Why? Pasha owes a large sum of money. No one knows the circumstances. Not his financial director, not his lawyer. That renting out the apartment is going to solve the problem? It won't, but we need to eat somehow, please. Let us stay here without any questions. I understand, but what can I do for you? Mommy, just be with Katya. With me, drink some water. Everything will work out somehow. There are no hopeless situations. You said so yourself. I'll think of something. There is a way out. You just need to see it. Well, do you see it? Vaguely, drink some water. Calm down. Oh, my God. First, we need to deal with the company. Why there are no funds on the account at all. Why he needed such a sum and why the loan was taken on such bondage terms. Well, and I need to find a job. How are you going to get a job as a chief accountant? You haven't worked for two years and the financial sphere has changed so much. I'm not going there yet, but I need money fast. I'll go to Larissa's and waitress or work in a cab. Cab? Well, then I'll be a dispatcher. Pasha. Pasha, open up. It's me, Pasha. I know you're alive, please. I'll help you with everything, Pavlik. Shit. All right. Mom, I'm not comfortable talking. A passenger's coming. Yes, that's the last one. Then I go home, bye. To Prova. Yes, yes, have a seat. Thank you. The world has gone crazy. 
a beautiful woman driving a cab at night instead of sitting in the back seat in a beautiful dress and looking mysteriously out the window. Yeah, the world's changing. You know, now a woman decides for herself what she wears, what time of day she drives, what seat she sits on, and even whether she should be beautiful or not. Yeah, and to take compliments from men as, I forgot that fancy word. Uh, harassment. Yeah, harassment. Are you also not allowed to give compliments without risking prosecution? Well, at this very... You can, but you don't have to. For me, the main compliment is adequate payment for my labor. Here's another sign of the times. Commodity money relations have come to the forefront and pushed out all humanity. Everyone is only interested in money. Circumstances are like that now, only money. Thank you. Thank you. Vernitsky 59, hurry up, please. Lady, wait. Shit. Mom, why are you frozen like a pole? I should have gone to the police right away. As you can see, I didn't go. I'm at home with a stranger's baby. Yeah, he needs to be fed. God, he needs diapers, a pacifier, so many things, okay? Mom, you take care of him. I'll run to the store. No, I'm gonna go to the store. Well, then buy some formula, a bottle, a pacifier, and some diapers. You're out of your mind. Crazy. Can I help you? Citizen, don't be embarrassed. Come in and let's find out what happened to you. We'll help you. No, no, no. It's okay. Young man, don't worry. Everything's fine. 
Yes, Lilica, my dear. Hello, may I congratulate you? Yes. And I saw Veronica from the window. At first I couldn't believe my eyes, and then I thought, thank God, God has finally heard your prayers. I'm not religious, as you know. Yes, yes, I know, but it's such a miracle. You decided to take the boy from the orphanage. Is he healthy at least? Excuse me. I'm in a hurry. You saw how proud she is. She didn't even say a word, and I'm with her with all my heart. Tana K, 30 years. Is that a joke? Almost relatives. God forbid, God forbid. What did you get? Okay, mom, I boiled the water, yeah, sterilized the pacifier and the bottle. Yeah, yeah, just a second, sweetie. And stir the formula, wash your hands first, okay. Like I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, what's the cover story? All the neighbors already know and what are you going to tell the kid? Katya should be here now. The neighbors already know. Grandma's worried. What do you have in mind? I've got an idea. I'll tell the truth. Oh, my God, did you bring diapers? You asked for food. Okay, call Katya and have her buy some. What? You're just gonna go out and buy a couple of packs of baby diapers? Just call and say. I hope you know what you're doing. Mom, give me the bottle and the phone. I'll call Katya myself. Oh, by the way, did you tell Larissa? No, I didn't. Are you afraid she won't approve? I'm not afraid of anything. Hello, yes. Mom, what do you want? I'm already under the house. What can I buy? Diapers? Mom, who's there? What was that just now? I don't know. My mom called and asked me to buy diapers. And then I heard the baby crying and she dropped it. I don't get it. You're stupid. Let's go buy diapers. There's a baby crying. What's going on? I don't know what the fuck is going on. What a mess. He's kind of ugly. Most babies aren't pretty. So you choose from the minority. Katya, I didn't choose. But that's where he came from. Just dropped him off in the car. So he's a foundling. Uh -huh. I thought that only happens in movies. So why did you bring him here? Well, you should go with him to the police or to the orphanage. Mom. Did you kidnap him? What are you talking about? It's not a big deal. I dropped off the passengers near the maternity hospital. A girl got in right away, and she jumped out at the stoplight. Ah, uh, so what? In such cases, you need to carry the baby home. Let's bring some more bald dogs, stray cats. That's what I told her. Look. I understand. I'm not an idiot. Well, that remains to be seen. Mom, yes, I understand. The child should have been taken to the hospital immediately. I'm sure his mother will come to her senses. She probably memorized my license plate number. Mom, I'm sure she had some kind of desperate moment. Otherwise, why didn't she leave him at the hospital? She just knew you were asleep, waiting for someone to drop the baby off. Look, let's just wait a few days. If she doesn't show up,
Yes, I'm I'll yes, take I'm him to the hospital myself, I promise. If you don't do it, I will, I promise to. Jesus Christ, this is the worst. Katya, wash your hands thoroughly. Aha, uh -huh. we don't have enough problems. It's not a problem. It's a gift. And if we declare the company bankrupt, the owner of the company is not responsible for its debts, right? I'm afraid this is not our case. According to the law, if the head or founder is guilty of insolvency of the company, he is liable to creditors with personal fund and property, of course, if the property of the company will be insufficient. So with bankruptcy, I would not start. He was obviously set up by someone. He couldn't have made such mistakes. I'm sorry, Andre. I can't think straight. I understand, but maybe some more coffee? More coffee. The main thing now is time and it's working against you. What time is it? I'm sorry. My God, I have to go, I have a baby. Who do you have? Oh, I'm sorry, you do. It's okay. I was going to suggest we switch to the first name. I have a baby that's tiny. It's a weird story. I'm sorry. I have to go, I'll explain later. Yeah, thank you. Why are these babies following me around? Well, not you. Well, how can I explain to her that it's not Vitalik who came back to her, that this foundling should be taken somewhere? She's already imagined herself a mom. She's already forgotten what happened to dad. Katya, I've been explaining to you for half an hour if this child is nobody's, nobody is looking for it, then it's real to sell. I'm telling you seriously, I've seen these ads all by a child, it's like a bike or a computer. Well, how do I know whose it is? What if they're looking for it? What if they're already looking for it? They could put us in jail. Not us. You're crazy, mom, so we're just gonna keep it quiet. Now we have to find out about the child's parents. I'll find out. How? Well, he was dropped off at the Central Maternity Hospital, and I had a classmate interning there. Nika, wait. It's you. Hello. Hello? Nika, as soon as I found out about Pavel, I came straight to your house. The concierge said you'd moved out. I thought if I didn't find you at Lilia's, I'd call you. I was afraid you wouldn't pick up. Shit, it's such a disaster. How are you? You were right. I blocked your number. Sweet Rizik. I'm so sorry, I behaved unworthy then, I'm a fool, please forgive me, it's just that everything I dreamed of was destroyed in an instant and I couldn't help myself. I know it's a pathetic excuse, hell, but it's true, I thought about us a lot afterward, about you and of course you were right, I should have given you a chance, I should have given your family a chance. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help you? I really want to help you. I don't think we should. That's the wrong idea, Rizik. Wait, don't be in a hurry to say no, wait. I just want to help, like an old friend, like an old friend's wife. I didn't tell you. I didn't want to brag, but I'm very connected, and I can help. Thanks. Okay, I'll think about it. I'll call you later, okay? I'll be waiting.
Maybe it's stupid. Mom, I decided to use any possible options. Don't speak in riddles. Igor met me outside the house. Oh, wow. What did he want? He apologized, promised to help, said he could find out where all the debts, loans, and why everything fell apart. Did you forgive him? I didn't think about it. I thought I'd give him the paperwork so he could get his bearings. So what? There is nothing to lose. Did you tell Andre? I don't want to involve him. Sing, sleep, my child, sleep, sweet dream to yourself. I've taken you as a nanny, sun, wind, end. Oh, look, here it comes. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'd like you to meet me, Artem, Dasha. Why don't we go get some Sharma? Yeah, go buy some too. And the money, I paid last time. Cool money, and you're paying. It's our business. Oh, come on. Why were you looking for me? What kind of conversation is this over the phone? Didn't you have an internship at the Central Maternity Hospital? Oh, wow. Are you knocked up, friend? I can help you. It's expensive, but it's fast. No, I'm not knocked up. I need to know who had a baby last week. Only kittens are free. We were friends in high school. Okay, so tell me why you want to know. All right. I'll pay. How long till you can get it? A couple days, a hundred bucks. Oh, look, there's your Alfonso with the shorma. Not the Alfonso, Autumn. He's not only poor, he's also stupid. Okay, guys, I'm off. And you eat your pies with kittens yourselves. What kittens? Bullshit. Give me my shorma. The main thing is that she agreed. Where will we find the money? I'll find it. Granny, have you seen my black jeans with fringe? With holes on the knees? Yes. I washed them. I mean washed them, but why? I always check the pockets before I wash them, so it's mom's money. Now we'll steal from each other. But I really needed it. You should have asked me. So I did. Granny, I need a hundred, please. I'll pay you back. Of course you'll give it back and work. There's plenty of work to do. Just don't tell your mom. No, of course I'll tell her just to kill her, that her daughter steals from her. She thinks it's daddy who took it. So let her think so. Well, thanks anyway. You're the best. I love you. Just go. It's good that you stopped by. I wouldn't have made it out today. Is there much to read? Well, not much, but you should let me hold it and you read it. Yes. Okay. Carefully. Read it well. Yes.
I thought maybe while we're looking for his mom, well, I know someone, we can reach out to the lawyers at the maternity hospital, so I can ask around. Yeah, ask around. I will, uh, thank you. Should we put him down? No need, I'll hold it. It's not too heavy. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Andre, I'm grateful to you. I can only imagine what I've gotten you into. I don't think you do. But it's okay. I'm the one who got me into this. There is one thing I am very concerned about. Your client is gone, but your fee. I understand. So look, as long as I'm not the first day I've been working, I've been working on a 100% retainer lately, so it's okay. I am calmed down. We'll stay out of your way. Is there a date in the contract? Can't it be postponed for a couple of months at least? Well, the Poles are in the agricultural season, so they're recruiting for them. What am I supposed to do? I would leave this Nuthis myself, but how? Though, my mom doesn't even give me money for a tutor. It all goes to this foundling. Soon we won't have anything to eat, and they're feeding this one. And there's nowhere to get away from this baby clothes. I barely got a hundred dollars for Dasha from my grandmother. Listen, let's do it. Let's give the kid into good hands. He'll be better off abroad than here, and you get the money for Poland, and we'll leave together. Enough. I've changed my mind. Have you ever heard of black transplantologists? Look, there are normal people selling their own, and here it's a stranger. Tema, forget about it. Yes, I want him out of here, but let his mom take him. Or the police, the guardianship authorities. I don't care. I won't sell a living person. It's crazy, go sell your sister. Maybe then your father will come back. What do you want? I heard that. None of your business. Don't make any noise or you wake the baby. So look, maybe it's none of my business, but just in case, tell your boyfriend that human trafficking is a criminal offense. It's a felony, 5 to 12 years in prison. And about child welfare. Let your mom worry about that. Sorry to bother you. Hi. Hi. Let's go, well. Unfortunately, there's no good news. I ran it through my channels. Pavel crossed the path of very serious people, did not take into account the nuances. Well, the money he wanted to take from them is not very big, but it's a matter of principle. They're offended, you know. All right. So what do I do? I'm signing over my business to them. I have nothing, what apartment left? I think I can't help you with the apartment, and then it's not worth that much money to be an obstacle. They wanted to punish Pavel, not you. Igor? I'm very grateful to you. I'm sorry. What are you saying? You have nothing to apologize for, my dear friend. I'll help you. I really will. You don't know everything about me. Probably. I know everything, believe me. I have a child. You mean Katya? No, another one, just a tiny one. Don't interrupt me. I'll tell you everything. A week ago, I was given a baby. A passenger left it in my car near the maternity hospital. I know I should have reported it to the police right away, but I waited thinking maybe she'd pick it up. I have a baby now. You know? You're out of your mind. No, I'm happy. I... 
I thought maybe you have such connections you could help me bypass all these bureaucratic rules and I could adopt him. But you have to give him up. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, I have to go. Igor. You have to give him up or you'll be in trouble, I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, colleague. What do you mean? Well, I'm already reading. He even sent me the medical records of the women in labor, of course, of course. Everything is completely confidential. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. What a surprise! So our boy is not just a boy. How am I gonna tell her that? So what did you say you do? I'm a nutritionist. I'm a nutritionist. And I'm a yoga instructor. On healthy eating, it's a nutritionist. Well, not exactly. A nutritionist helps you fight problems, overweight or gastrointestinal problems, and I make sure that these problems do not arise. It suits me very well, so that no problems arise. Answer me, bitch. I'm going to powder my nose for a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Yes, hello. So this is what you did to your son. How do you know? What did you want? Did you think I'd keep him or what? Did you think you had a choice who you wanted to keep him for? Look, I'm doing the best I can. Okay, I'm busy. Hello? I'm sorry. The connection must be bad. I'll do what you want. You got a deal. I am about to have a baby, and you keep making me promises. Honey, I'll get divorced. We'll split the assets. We'll get married. I'm not retracting what I said. You're being honest. And you were just telling me that you have problems with your business, that you have no money, that you felt sorry for your money, didn't you? Listen, shut up. I'm trying to save my business. Tomorrow I'm going to divorce, then divide the property, and then we'll get married. Oh, so you're saving the property division for later. Huh? Don't take me for a fool. After all, I can start from the beginning. Are you kidding me? Who needs you with this kid and no money? Huh? What are you talking about? Fuck you. Eliona. Eliona. Don't touch me. What are you starting, Eliona? Leave me alone. Fuck all of you. Hello. Yeah, Dashka gave me the names. I'm just going through social media. Some of them are posting their babies. Yeah, I'm sick of it. But I got a dozen more, so... Uh, yeah, I'll let you know.
Mom, you know, you didn't think it wasn't an accident. Your car, the baby, you, you know who you're practically breastfeeding. That's my daddy's son, my brother. What makes you say that he's not supposed to be born yet? He doesn't owe anybody anything, but everybody owes him. Look. That's her. Have you forgotten what I pay you for? So I'll remind you. You had to force Pavel to get a divorce and that's it. There was no talk of a child, much less planting it on Pavel's wife. Listen, it's an accident. Are you stupid? Don't you know where babies come from? You don't know what to do to prevent them. I just liked Pavlik. So let's not get into details. Tell me, do you want the rest of the money? Yes. Take the child, and we'll put him somewhere, I promise you. But Veronica must not have a Pavel son, is that clear? Why did you bring me to her? I'm not going anywhere. She's going to call the police now, I'm scared. I won't go. Wait, wait, say you've come to your senses, that you love your child, that you've been looking for him all this time. And can you cry on demand? Good for you, go on. I'll wait for you here, go on. Я тебя здесь подожду. Иди. The baby's asleep. Why call? Come in. I knew you wouldn't let him go anywhere. Please forgive me. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't understand. My husband left me. I am all alone with no money, nothing, really. Where's my boy? Where's my little boy? I miss him so much. I would like to feed him so much. I'm just bursting for milk and, well, listen. It's true. It was some kind of a blur. My husband turned out to be a jerk and... Come on, come on. I know who you are, so don't tell me about my husband being a jerk. It's good to have you back. I hope you can take care of your son. I will. I'll go in the car, get the cradle. You stay here. Yes? Igor, I've got a situation here. I need to see you right away. Rizik, I'd love to, but I'm out of town right now. I'll call you as soon as I get back or even come over. Okay, I get it. So I won't give you the baby? I don't believe in your remorse. You can come back with the police if you want. Goodbye. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Mom, what are you doing? It's her baby. Look, she might actually come back with the police. She won't. Not now. So what's going on? Can you explain? I'll explain everything, but later, have you packed the children's things? Please pack. Find a big bag. I have to leave. Where to? Where to? I'll explain everything to you. Everything will be fine. Please don't stand there. Help me. Grandma, come on, come on. I'll help you. Anyway, I'll tell you something you won't believe. Do you know who was just here? Hello? Hi, Logic. It's me. Oh, hey, brother. It took you long enough to get up the nerve. You saw that I noticed you, right? I can't hide from you. Will you come? I'm on my way. Pasha, it's like 25 years ago, you're hiding in my country house. The grill is burning. It's like deja vu. You know, I thought about it too. But somehow my feet brought me here. I never would have thought to look for you here, unless Lara figured it out. She can see right through you. Did you call her? Yeah, she's on her way here. So why are we sitting here? Let's have another round before she gets here. You know what we should drink to, that all your problems will be solved. Thanks, Ola. Somehow everything got out of control. I had to wait somewhere to think. Don't worry about it, Pasha. This is certainly not my business. I will not ask unnecessary questions. Is there a woman involved? And more than one. Of course, it's the women's fault. Hello, boys. Hello. Olag, thank you for your hospitality. Pasha, get ready. Let's go. I'm in a hurry. Thanks, Olag. Lara, Veronica came to see you. I took her to your office, and she's not alone. Lara, where can I put the used diaper? Nika, who is this? Meet your nephew. Isn't he cute? Nephew? Don't look at me like that. I'm not crazy. Do you want to hold him? No. Well, then listen. Aliona gave birth. Pasha disappeared. No husband. No money. Where to put the baby? The right thing is to drop it off. Wait, I don't get it. What do you mean? How do you mean drop off? Larissa, I'll tell you about it later. Today she came to me. She repented. She wanted to take the child. I didn't give it to her and I won't give it to her. I don't know how I'll do it yet. So I brought it to you. I was afraid she might steal it. Will you help me? I'll help you, but how? Larissa. Will you help me? Yeah, it's just Nika. A nephew is unexpected. Yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so bottles. Formula diapers. I brought everything. He doesn't take a pacifier. He's just a baby, please. I just need a few days to figure something out. All right, you'll be fine. Be careful. Keep an eye on him all the time. Call me if you need anything. Hey. We're going to take a picture of you and I and send it to our dad. So I have your son. Well, 
He won't take a pacifier. Look how proud he is. Andre, sorry it's late, but it's very important. I need to make inquiries about one person. I think he's connected to Alyona. It's Igor Semyonov. Wait, you know Alyona? Yeah, I've had the pleasure of meeting her. She's my baby's mom. Okay. You're not surprised. I just found out. I couldn't figure out how to tell you. Well, you don't have to. Andre. I need to find out everything I can about him. I think you're overestimating my abilities. You need a detective, not a lawyer. Please let us try. Okay. Let's go over the introductions. Though, Semyon Avigor Petrovich, 42 years old, worked as a swimming coach. We met him in the pool. The address of the pool and home address I'll send you. You came quickly. Well, hold the air, Daddy. Careful. Oh, easy. Easy. That's it. Looks like me. How? Of course. What do you mean? The baby's a week old. He doesn't look like anybody. Come on. Admire it and hurry up and get back. We don't want you getting spotted here. I hope you didn't let the cab go. Good afternoon. I am a former client of yours. I had personal training with Strobitskaya. I would like to return to her. Unfortunately, Strobitskaya is not working right now. That's a shame. But I can offer you other specialists. No, thank you. Others are not interested. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I've been waiting for your call. Any luck? So it's his company and it's registered in Cyprus. Okay, thanks a lot, buddy. I owe you one. I was gonna have coffee with you, but I think you've had enough. Uh -huh. Tough case? Not really, but I'm working hard. What's all this about divorce and property division? Well, let me help you. No need. I don't think it was about paternity. Paternity determination. The usual blood type determination in this case. No, that's different. Okay. If you don't need any help, I'm going home. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. You can't have a kid with a type 1 parent with a type 3. And we had just such a boy. Why did you come to say goodbye before Poland? It won't work. Grandma's home. Katya, stop it. Do you want some? I want to. What did Desha find out? This kid is my brother, you know. Holy shit. So it turns out we're not giving him to the orphanage anymore. Why would we do that? I'm sorry I didn't think you'd react this way. If I'd known, I wouldn't have brought it up. I was going to marry him. 
What? I was going to start a relationship with him. Why didn't you? Pasha wouldn't let me. Apparently, he thought he was the only one who had the right to leave the family. So the beneficiary of our company is Igor Semyonov and everything that happened, this deal, the debts, it's all his work. Yes. The main question is why Semenov is hardly interested in Pavel's business as it turns out. It's more important than him. I don't understand. Then we need to find out. Nina, feed the baby. I'm off to a client meeting, Pasha. I can't right now. Well, Laura, I won't be long. You wrote yourself that there is news from Nika. She found out something and suspended the sale of the company. She told me the details later. What did you decide? Well, I'll get back to her when we know the details. Veronica's changed a lot. Well, she's got a kid now. She'll forgive me. I know it. And if she doesn't... Pasha, what's that noise? Where are you now? I'm sorry. Is Nina around? Tell her to call me. What? Nina, Pasha? Why are you drunk? Hello? I told you not to go out. Hello, Pasha? Yes, we've seen Pavel Sargevic. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, honey, I've been really busy, couldn't get out to see you, any news? What kind of news? My husband, the baby or the company? I'm worried about you, tell me everything. Nothing is known about Pasha. The mother came for the boy. I didn't give him away, but I almost gave the company to the creditors. Oh, Rizik. Enough? Igor, I know everything. I know you set up Pasha and you stall Lena. I know whose baby it is. I even know I'm giving you the company now. I just don't understand why. Because I love you and I've loved you all these years. Don't lie. Twenty years ago, a couple months before your wedding, Pasha confessed to me that he wanted to break up with you. He was then concurrently dating another girl from a very wealthy family. He had big views on this marriage. You're lying now. Yeah. And he offered to buy you out for my share of the business. Mm -hmm. So I was a bargaining chip. Yeah, I agreed. I was hoping if he disappeared from your life, I'd have a better chance. Why didn't he marry that girl? Olga's father didn't like him. How do you know all this? Well, because she later became my wife, actually. I owe my success in business to my father-in-law. We parted after a couple of years, but we remain friends and are still friends. We never had children. Igor? Why did you reappear in my life? I never let you out of my sight. The initiator of the divorce was Olga. She said she didn't want to share me with another woman. I don't believe you. But I did not lose sight of Pasha. 
I thought about the place, waited for an opportunity, and when I came up with Alena, it was very easy, because Pasha did not miss a single skirt. You're lying. I love you. I've loved you all my life. The truth, and you can believe me. You left me penniless with my husband's child. I work from morning till night in a cab so that we could somehow live. Is that how you love me? Pasha may be an asshole, but you disgust me. Can you be more careful? Hello, Igor, what do you want? I am not going there anymore. That crazy woman won't give up the baby. You have to give up the baby. <laughs> what else? What's in it for me? If you pay, I'll sign it. Who needs you with a baby? I heard you're doing well there. There's a new daddy, by the way. I know him. You don't want him to know how you throw away babies. All right. What do you want me to sign? Wait for me. I'll be there in a couple hours. Max, can you come in here for a couple minutes? Okay. Okay. Why a couple minutes? I just took a half hour off. No way, Maxim. My God, please, just not now. Let's just not now. I'm begging you. There's so much to do, so much to do. Oh my God, so much that I even forgot about your birthday. But that's okay. This is for you. Why, Lara, I forgot it myself. You want to see it? Cool. It's very expensive, from the latest collection. I like it, thank you. There's a postcard. <laughs> Lara, what's this? It's an award. What did I do to deserve an award? Max, it's a gift. I know what your salary is. Lara, tell me, why do I feel like an Alfonso now? I didn't know you'd react this way. I thought it was normal. What's normal? Taking money for sex. I'm sorry, I think I misunderstood our relationship somehow. Igor, if I had known that you can't give up on a child after the maternity hospital, I wouldn't have gone near it. I wouldn't have even looked at it honestly. I thought you were going to become a mother. Look, it wasn't me who wanted the baby. It was Pasha. What am I supposed to do with it now? Huh? How could he not suffocate in your womb from such motherly love? Enough, uh, what's next? We will try to out with the law. You will write a consent to the adoption of your child not by a stranger and the wife of the father of your child. So how are you all decided? The notary is waiting. Young lady, wait, don't rush us. What else? Well, Pashka's not the father of the baby. What? Well, I thought he was the father, but in the maternity hospital they determined by blood that he's not. Who else knows? No one. You, me, and in the hospital. And the father of the child? Igor, I don't know who the father is. So, you don't know anything. Nobody told you anything at the maternity hospital. The father is Pavel. That's it. Go write a consent for adoption. Go ahead.
Here you go. Thank you. Andre, she gave me the baby, signed the adoption consent. Igor just asked me for a scan of the document. I'll go to him now to get the original. Then I'm going to Laris's to pick up the baby. When can I adopt him? It will take a long time. Will you help me? Yes. Thank you. Larissa, is he asleep? My sweetie, sleep, Lar. You're like Julius Caesar doing so many things at once. I have good news, Alena signed the papers. So I can adopt you. Can you imagine? Now I'll have a son. I'm really happy for you. Nika, if, if Pasha comes back... Well, if Pasha comes back, then we'll talk. You know, this whole story, the chance meeting in the pool, the sudden affair, a... Lyona, everything that happened with the company, the debts. It's such a multi-trick by Igor. Oh, come on. Yeah, well, you know what happened between them 20 years ago. Why now? What's the point of all this? Revenge. Just revenge. Larissa, please help me. I want to take him home. My mom misses me. God, there is so much to buy. A nanny, a stroller. Yes, yes, take him. Thank you. Well, God bless you, then. Yes, quiet. I'll bring the rest later. Lara, thank you so much. Bye. Go to sleep, go to sleep. And you didn't tell her? No. And you won't? What business is it of yours? Just because you're sleeping with Pasha doesn't give you any privileges. I didn't call you. You can go. How hard it is for me to be with you, Pavlik, all my life. So you've got it all memorized. Feed, walk, bathe, and if I don't come back, feed again. Yeah, we've got it all figured out. Just go. Yes, yes, I know you're good. I'll try to be quick. I'll just drop off the papers. Hold him carefully. Bye. What happened? Why aren't you in the office? There's a problem. You need the consent of the other spouse. I don't understand. When one spouse adopts a child, the consent of the other spouse is required. What am I supposed to do? Wait for Pasha to come forward or wait a year for him to be declared missing? Well, I haven't had a chance to find out yet. You give me the paperwork, I'll take it to an adoption specialist. Maybe there are some loopholes. Thank you. How's the baby? How are the girls taking it? Girls, is that how you refer to Katya's mom? It's all good. Katya even offered her help. Come visit us today. This is your VIP client that you've given up everything else for. And what did that cabbie do? It's someone. Well, first of all, she's not a cab driver. She didn't hit anyone. It's just a girl who got into a bad situation. And you fell in love with her. Fall in love? I didn't even know our Iron Man had a heart. Turns out he does. Cab driver, holy crap. 
Look, they've already started this adoption thing, but I don't think they have all the paperwork yet. What the hell do we do? What I told you before, and right now we're pulling it. Well, if I go back without him, I'm gonna get killed. They yell and calm down, and you shouldn't have any complaints. You did everything according to the law. Will you look for the address? My phone's dead. Let me look for it. Hold the stroller. You picked the wrong family. This is my territory, so I'm sorry. Mom, Katya, I'm home. Where are you? Nika, I've just boiled some broth, and Katya went for a walk with the baby. I'm really worried. She hasn't been here for a long time. I asked Marta to take Marta for a walk, but she didn't want to. And she didn't answer the phone. When was that? It's been three hours. Doesn't answer me either. Okay, I'll go look for them. Something happened. Maybe the stroller broke down. You keep your phone to yourself. Okay, okay. Excuse me, have you seen a girl with a stroller around here? No, I haven't. Excuse me, have you seen a girl with a stroller around here? She has such colorful hair. What's wrong with your voice? Katya disappeared with the baby. I'll be right there. Where are you? I'm at the corner of our square. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right there. Katya. 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 I'm sorry. She's nowhere to be found. Did you call her boyfriend? No, I didn't think of that. Hello, Artem, this is Veronica, Katia's mom. Do you know where she is? She doesn't know. Hello, I know what you and Katya were going to do and what kind of deal you were going to make. If you want trouble and I can give it to you, tell me where is Katya and where is the baby? When did this happen? What? Here you go. Hello? Hi. Can you talk? Listen, you wanted to borrow my scooter, right? So take it. I'm going away for three months and then it's up to you. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I'll talk to you then. Bye. Hello. Have you seen a girl with a stroller? Maybe she passed by here. She has long hair with purple ribbons. No, I haven't. Excuse me, please. Yes. Did you see a girl passing by? Maybe a guy with her? They were with a stroller. She had hair with purple ribbons. I did. They were hanging around the ward for half an hour. He tried to get her into the emergency room. But she was stubborn and didn't want to. So they had a fight and he left. And then she rocked the baby and left too. Did you see where she went? So how do I know? Maybe to feed or change diapers. Modern mothers are like that. The baby cried, and she cried with him. Thank you. 
I asked the young course staff. No one came in today. They called the maternity hospital with me. No news either. My phone's dead. My mom's probably terrified she can't get in touch with anyone. Well, then we need to go home to call mom down, charge the phone, then act according to the circumstances. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Mom. Nika, where are you? I've called you a million times. Sorry, my phone's dead. How are you? I'm fine here. A little one. Mom, please forgive me. I didn't want him to be here. I just didn't want another Vitalik. I was so mad that this friend gave him to you and you're happy. I'm so sorry. He's so cute. He's smiling at me. Come here. Of course. You fool. You're confused. You're so happy with him. And next to you two, you're my child. Daddy? Hello, everyone. Maybe you all thought I was dead, but I'm alive. Kechishenka, forgive me. I'm very guilty before you, before mom. But I had no other choice. Yes. And now you have Pasha. Stay where you were, we've all cried for you. Well, Grandma. What, Grandma? Am I supposed to act happy? Why don't you say anything? The man disappeared somewhere there. Made us think that he drowned, but in fact he left us here to drown. He didn't spare anyone. I recognize my mother-in-law. Lilia Alexandrovna, I didn't expect you to be happy. But Nick... Nick... I see. I can hardly explain. But, huh? I didn't think everything would fall apart like this, and they'd come for the money. You didn't expect that. Uh huh. How did you know? Larisa, I was at her place. Larissa, of course, there's no secret about you she doesn't know. Why are you here? My son is here. My wife, my mother-in-law, my lawyer. Hello, Pavel Soljevic. You. Uh, you think this is all so funny? Nick, help me. I don't recognize you. I'm really having a hard time. That's enough. There's no truth in feet. Let's go to the room. Martoka, you're the only one I'm glad to see. Katusha, bring me a stool from the kitchen. Take it yourself. You're not a gentleman. No problem, Andre. it was very unexpected to see you here. We're having a family evening. I don't know something. Nikod. Nikod, we need to talk to you. 
All right. Let's talk. Well, not here. Not in front of everyone. Pasha, a lot of things have changed lately. Everything has changed. That's why there are no outsiders here. Have a seat. I'll help you. You had a beautiful family, more or less stable business. Some personal life. Obviously, you wanted more and decided to take a risk. Now you have no family, no business. I'm not judging your personal life. You took a chance on us and you lost. Nika, I'm sorry. It's my fault. Please don't do this. We'll just sit down. Have some tea and you'll go home. Igor gave you your apartment back. So you're not homeless now. You can thank him. Igor? What's he got to do with it? Didn't Larissa tell you that? She took pity on you. You lost everything to him. Give me my son and I'll go away. No. You have no right. I don't care. Have a I apologize. There are some legal issues about the child, but Veronika and I will solve them. And it has nothing to do with you. What do you mean it doesn't concern me? I'm the father and anyway, what does that mean me and Veronica? Did she hire you, Nika? Are you paying him? No, nobody hired me. Nobody's paying me, that's not even the point. The point is you can't be the father of this baby. What are you talking about? Andre, where is this information coming from? Oh my god, this is crazy. It's worse than any soap opera. According to your blood type, Pavel Sojevic. You can't be the father of this child. That explains a lot. You can't be the father. So all this time you thought that I was the reason for our failures, right? Of course it's my fault. Everything is my fault and I deserve it. It's not my baby. But it's not yours either. I don't understand whose baby it is. Nika, it's not yours. No. Not to Kadia and me, Andre. I see. Oh, you heard a good man. He didn't even have tea. So let's go feed and bathe the child. Katusha, come on, clean up. And I'll pump Valerian. Well, oh my God, Pavlik, why are you silent? What is it? This is not my son. What do you mean it's not yours, God? What are you talking about? Whose son is it then? 
No, no, Pavlik, they're lying to you. Nika is with that lawyer. They determined it by blood type. They have the discharge from the hospital. The urologist told me at the time that there was no chance. But I thought it was a young woman, young blood. She's a bitch. Jesus, Pavlik. I told you she was a bitch from the beginning, just like all the others before her. And Nika. What about Nika? She won't forgive me. Neither will I. God, Pavlik, how did you fall for all this? Why, after all, everything was fine with you. You wanted young blood, a thrill. Nika is wonderful. She has a soul. That Semyonov of yours. How long he waited? 20 years. How much effort? How much money he spent to get her back? And Semyonov is still to be dealt with? Let's go. So the consent for adoption from the mother. It's certified. Okay, we'll write it down. Excuse me. What do you want? Igor, you offering me a job. You know, I'm really gonna get back into the business, but I'm not gonna work with you. Have a nice day. Excuse me. Business? I'll explain it to you later. Shall we continue? Yes. The boy's name? Bogdan. Bogdan. Father's name? What kind of patronymic? Andrevik. In honor of the godfather to be. Well, I don't agree on the Godfather. I agree only on the present one. I'm serious about Bogdan. About us. Andre, I'm very grateful to you. When we met, I thought you'd crush me. You had such armor. I thought I couldn't get through to you, but then you saved me. You became a real friend. I'm not really talking about friendship. The black streak is over. I'll begin white. Well, Bogdan Chick Little, I'll be taxi driver. After all, free schedule, and then I enrolled in courses. I want to get back into business. After all, I have two children to raise. I'm sorry. I interrupted. I'm just so emotional. Yeah, I'm listening. Veronica. God, I'm an idiot. You don't have to say anything right now. I know you're overwhelmed with so much information. You probably don't need to start a new relationship. You just know that I'll always be there for you. You can trust me.